of emergency situation because my junk is burning off. We're Matt and Nat, a travel couple based out of Nashville, Tennessee. After having our world turned upside down in 2020, we decided to set out on our biggest adventure yet, to see all 50 states in a year. In our last video, we were in Washington, where we explored the quaint Bavarian town of Leavenworth, where I had my first experience being pooped on by a bird, and we ate all things Bavaria, including pretzels as big as our heads. This week, we're in the last frontier. Welcome to Alaska, part one. Today we're in Denali National Park, which is the third largest national park in the U.S. at 6.1 million acres. It's also home to Mount Denali, which is the tallest mountain in North America at 20,310 feet. Most of our day here is going to be spent driving the Denali Park Road, where we're going to be taking in the sights and hoping to see a little bit of wildlife. We're hoping to get a hike in, but that's also <laughs> weather permitting, so we're praying that the weather clears up. Yep, because it's raining right now. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so Matt is driving me around Denali. <laughs> I am in the back seat trying to get footage on both sides of the car. <laughs> but yeah, so he's just driving Miss Daisy. Our personal chauffeur, where would you like to go now? Um, I don't know. I think there's only one road. So just yeah. take me down that one and okay. then back if you don't mind. <laughs> it's May and there's snow on the ground. So we've made it here to the Savage River area on Denali Park Road, and this is normally where the road would end for personal vehicles. But we're here during the shoulder season, about a week before everything opens. And there are pros and cons <laughs> to that. <laughs> there absolutely are. There's a lot of things not open right now. Especially bathrooms. Bathrooms, <laughs> you know, just small things. <laughs> but the pros are that- It's cheaper. Yeah, it's cheaper. And we get to drive another 15 miles into the park that normally you wouldn't be able to. That's not always the case. Sometimes that road at this time of the year is still covered in snow, but it just worked out. God was looking out for us and we're going to get to drive it today. When we're on a scenic road trip, we always have snacks. It's our lunch and it was our dinner last night. Yeah, it was. It's Another one of those cons to coming in the off season. <laughs> yeah, there's not that many restaurants open. No. Um, wow, these views are spectacular. It's literally like driving through a movie set. Mm -hmm. And of course, videos and photos don't do it justice because it's just not even close. breathtaking. We'll do our best though to document it. our first animals. <laughs> I'm not real sure what they were, do you know? Well, we don't have cell phone service, so we can't really yeah. look up animals, but I think it might have been like a caribou. We saw some that didn't have any antlers that looked kind of like cows. That were super close to like the cows. road. And these mosquitoes, that's some wildlife. Oh, they they're are so big. Giant. I hit Matt on the head <laughs> earlier today because he had four of them on his hat. And I was so just, I just walking along him. and she turned around and Wow. He was like, why did you do that for? I, yeah, so I saved his life, but he didn't think so. Well, we're hoping we'll get to see some moose or oh, please God. a bear would be awesome. We have we're, bear spray, so we we're ready. We have bear spray, yep. Look. So if you're coming to Denali, make sure you get some of this stuff right here because apparently it is necessary. Not just for bears, it'll keep the moose away from you too. And moose are more dangerous actually, so. Mm -hmm. Man, All right. these mosquitoes They're are. huge. Okay, let's go. <laughs> We 
made it to the end of the road as far as we can drive. It's the Teklanika River area. So that's about 30 miles in on the road. It's also worth noting that after you hit that 15 mile point that you can always drive, it turns to gravel road. Yeah. So if you're in a car, it can be done. There've been plenty of smaller vehicles driving it. It's just gonna take you a little longer because yeah. it's a little bit bumpy. Yeah, we would recommend taking an SUV or truck. Just, it'd make life a little easier on yeah. you. The road is actually 96 miles long. If you're coming during the summertime, we would recommend getting one of the bus passes. That'll allow you to ride the entire 96 miles. It is a full day. I think it's like an eight or 12 hour day is what they say it takes to do it. But we're at the end of where we can make it. So we're gonna try to do a little bit of hiking. So there are no official trails here in the Teklanika River area. They say just walk around, make your own trail and don't carry bear spray <laughs> and don't get lost. <laughs> so we'll see how we do. changed so fast it's yes. beautiful right here and then you go over here and it is about to downpour on yeah. us and, and we've got to climb back up, up. That hill over there we gotta go all right let's do it Ooh. all right <laughs> starting the hike back up a little longer than a few minutes later all right i'll update i guess okay sorry Right now it's easing off so I can laugh a little bit. Um, this is kind of emergency situation because my junk is burning off. So after hanging out a little bit at the Teklanika River area, getting some photos and doing a little bit of hiking, I accidentally sprayed the bear mates a little bit and got it on my hand. Didn't really realize I got it on my hand so much and then went and used the bathroom. So, and Natalie's laughing at me in the front seat. <laughs> I'm not saying. <laughs> so right now, my unmentionables are on fire. <laughs> I've, I've rinsed them off twice. Once in the frigid Arctic icy water of the river and another time on the side of the road with a bottle of water because it was atomic level. It's eased off right now, but Natalie is driving and we are now gonna head back to the hotel for a little bit. Um, take care of some things and also get some food because we're starving and the snacks aren't doing it for us right now. Moral of the story, don't get bear mace on your hands or any part of your body because it'll ruin your day. I'm not saying anything. But yeah, just wanted to give you a little update. Enjoy this time lapse of us rushing to the hotel. Crisis averted. We're all good. So now we're gonna go get some food. <laughs> I'm happy we're all good. I was really worried. Uh, you were worried. Well. There's a moment there, it was like a level eight pain. Mm -hmm. It had already died down by the time I filmed it because I couldn't even think about filming anything when yeah. I was in the middle of it. But now it's raining again. So we're gonna go eat. That's another thing we've learned. Here in Alaska, Wait 30 minutes, the weather will change. Absolutely. So we're going to eat, and then hopefully it'll be sunshiny. Yeah, there are a total of two options for food. Yeah, um, that are open. <laughs> within about a 50-mile radius from us. So, yeah, we didn't have a whole lot of options. It was Thai food or... Black Diamond Grill. Black Diamond so Grill we're going is where to, we're going. Yep. <laughs> well, the Thai food is a takeout place. actually pretty good yeah it was way better than i thought it was gonna yeah, be yeah i was kind of surprised because we don't like i said we only had two options we didn't really feel like we had much of a choice and yep. we were like it's gonna be pricier and mediocre yep. but pleasantly yeah. surprised and it wasn't really that pricey like 
compared to what we would pay for this kind of food anywhere else. Yeah. I mean. Yours was $16, mine yeah. was 34, which for me is like, mm. I got the Alaskan salmon with a lemon butter sauce, mashed potatoes, and a vegetable medley. And it also came with a Caesar salad. And I went with a little bit of a cheaper option, which was their Alaskan cod sandwich with fries on the side. And it was actually pretty good. I can't complain about it. Matt also ordered a little appetizer. Oh yeah, I, I forgot. I did order an appetizer. <laughs> I ordered the bacon wrapped scallops and those were really good actually. Mm -hmm. Anytime scallops and bacon are involved, I mm -hmm. mean, so good. But yeah, so the Black Diamond Grill actually was a pleasant little surprise. But now, now that we're stuffed, we want to go to sleep, but we're not gonna do that because we're in Alaska, first off. And one of the pros to that is it doesn't get dark till like 11 or so here right it's now. It's still light outside and yes. it is 8, 15 p.m. So we're gonna go take advantage of this light and go see some more of the park and... I haven't seen a moose or a bear, so we're going that, back to Denali. That's the main goal is to drive around looking for wildlife. Let's do it. like four or five moose. Oh my gosh, yeah. that was epic. I it wish really they would have been crossing the road or something with their little babies, but I will take them eating out in the tundra can't, any day. Can't complain, no. and we're not giving up. We still got like two hours till sunset. Blue porcupines climb trees. So all of the wildlife spotting on the way up did take up some of our time, but we did make it up to Teklanika just in time for a beautiful sunset. But now I think we're gonna call it a night because it is 10 o'clock at night. 11 o'clock at night. Oh, Almost. it's 11 o'clock. Almost. We gotta go to bed, so we'll <laughs> see you in the morning. Good morning. It is a beautiful spring day here in Alaska. And after we left you last night, we saw so much wildlife. <laughs> we we saw a moose with its little baby and they were drinking in the river and it was awesome. <laughs> so we're going to insert that footage yep. right now. How amazing was that? <laughs> <laughs> we also saw a ton of caribou and that amazing sunset that we left you on last night. It was amazing. But right now we've stopped here at, I'm probably butchering this name, the Ninana River. Uh, there's an awesome bridge probably 10 minutes before you get to the park entrance and it crosses over a beautiful gorge. So we're just gonna take in some views here before we head into the park today. on the river in the springtime in Alaska. I watched a lot of Alaskan shows on Discovery Channel and History Channel. And you learn about these ice shelves. That is all hollow. And you can't tell from the other side, walking this way, that it's hollow. But you get over here and you step on that edge and that whole thing might collapse underneath you. Oh gosh. <laughs> Look at me though, I wanna live on the edge. I'm gonna put all my weight. Are you ready? I did it. Ready? I'm gonna do both. <laughs> Whoa, I, heard it, I heard it hollow under your you feet. You did not. So like we said earlier, yeah. it's Alaska, wait 10 minutes, the weather will change. And that is exactly what's happened. It was beautiful sunshine, hardly a cloud yeah, in the sky. Yeah, you guys saw that, it was gorgeous. And we show up to the Savage River area to do the Savage River Loop and it's pouring rain. <laughs> so we're gonna take our advice and wait it out. We're gonna wait about mm. 10 minutes or so. We see some blue skies you know, over there. We so. see them, so we're, we're gonna wait it out and see what happens. We're hoping we can get on the trail. Savage River Loop is a, depending on where you look, it's a 1.7 to two mile loop, and it's supposedly one of the best hikes to do, especially for first timers to Denali. Oh, look at those blue skies. I see them. 
since we're waiting the rain out. I think somebody's tired. I'm just taking your cat now. Yeah, right. Does the rain stop? Um, pretty much. Well, just tell me when it stopped. I think it stopped. I see blue <laughs> you skies. don't ever let me nap. I see blue skies rolling in. Are they here yet? Yeah, they're not directly above us, but they're You just don't want close. me to nap. Alright, yeah, I think I, I think it's time. Yep, I think it's time. Oh man, he wouldn't let me sleep at all. I fell asleep, I was trying to fall asleep like twice and then he would talk to me. <laughs> How dare I talk to you? You knew I was napping. No, I didn't. <laughs> you think I just rest my eyes for yeah. what? For fun? For to rest your eyes. <laughs> I can sleep anywhere. Ask anyone, it is a talent and a gift that I possess. Matt does not have that, so he wants to talk to me. That's all. Let's go hike! Let's do it. This is an easy hike, and it literally just walks along the Savage River. And we got good news today. The area is not closed. There's a sign that would be up if there was bear danger. So, Natalie's disappointed. I am disappointed. I want to see a bear. <laughs> Here's to hoping we see a bear! <laughs> east Trail closed. What's that mean? I don't know. We're not on the East Trail, are we? Yeah. It is eating through your hat. Just through. Oh, that's why. I'll try. We like to think that we're above average at a lot of things, and I think we're actually more average. How dare you? <laughs> we're like, well, that trails. That's a recommendation that it's closed. That's for normal people. Thank Given God. most of the time, some things are over precautious. Sometimes you gotta live on the edge a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do see why this side was technically closed. The other side of the trail is open, which we're about to go do now, but we're a little bummed about that. Isn't this spectacular? Literally, this whole park takes your breath away. And now it's starting to rain on us again. <laughs> Literally, oh, the sky is split. Blue skies on one side in front of us, rain on the other side. Yeah, dang it. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I'm not letting Alaska have the last say. Come on. We just reached the footbridge, which is usually where you would cross to go back on the other side of the river. But since the east side is closed, we're gonna head back on the west side. We've got blue skies, beautiful sunshine. And then we can look the other direction, which is where we're headed back to. It's nothing but rain. Get our hoods put up again, all our gear put away. For me, grizzly bear. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> She's just been walking down the trail complaining for the past like two minutes, talking to herself. That's how I get through things. <laughs> I'm <Anyway>. tired. <laughs> I'm, I'm hungry. And we're rushing. That's the problem, is we're rushing back we're because not. of this, this rainstorm. That's all. 
All right, we are almost back to the car. And as you can see, the sun is still shining. We barely dodged the rain. You made me run. Natalie's complaining because she says I made her run. <laughs> I promise you, we did a not. Trail, we... A trail run, okay? He was like, it's awful hiking in the rain. Let's go. That's what it was. It was a swift walk. <laughs> you would think as much as she complained on the way back that it was running. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm just hungry. Uh, Y'all know, like, I'm a little hangry sometimes. And all I want is a sandwich. And we've just had snacks I'm today. really hungry. So, well, I know you are, but you don't get hangry. I do. Anyways. <laughs> we dodged the rain. That's all that matters. All right, so I had a snack and I feel better. You know, nothing like some good white cheddar Cheez-Its mm -hmm. and off-brand Oreos. <laughs> It'll slap every time. Because <laughs> I'm cool, you know? I'm cool with Slaps. the lingo. Yeah, oh, whatever. <laughs> um, so we still have not seen a bear. No. So we're going to keep our eyes on the lookout. We got 15 miles. So hopefully we'll get to see some more wildlife. We'll see. Unfortunately, we didn't see any wildlife on our way out of the park. Not I have seen zero bears here, kind of disappointed, <laughs> but I did see huge mosquitoes. <laughs> massive like insane so pro tip make sure you bring bug repellent also if you come keep your small children and small animals nearby because i think the mosquitoes could carry them away <laughs> <laughs> they are massive. But that ends our time here in Denali. So if you like this video, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up and also make sure you hit that subscribe button. And while this does end our time in Denali, we're not done with Alaska just yet. So be sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on our Alaska part two video, which will be out very soon. We'll see you then. No mistakes, just happy accidents. That's my life. <laughs> That's our life. <laughs> Matt is always the designated photographer in every place we go. Oh, I about became the official Denali um, welcome photographer. I know you did. <laughs> Don't we look cool? <laughs> there you go. No official trails and there are giant mosquitoes. Jeez. Ow, giant. ow. Get it out. Yep. Okay. Nah. <laughs> the Alaska State bird <laughs> biting me through my shirt. Ah! <laughs> I hate them so much. All right, let's go. All right, okay, ready? Okay, go.